From the idyllic New England town of Bowdoin, tragedy strikes. Joseph Eaton, 34, released from prison on April 14th after serving two years for aggravated assault, unleashed a killing spree that spanned rural Bowdoin and shootings on I-295. The incident, which had occurred on April 18th, has sent shockwaves through the state, prompting a deep reflection on community safety and support systems. Eaton's troubled history, marked by over a half dozen criminal charges spanning the past decade, raises concerns about the effectiveness of rehabilitation in the legal system. His release on April 14th brought him back into society with a troubled past and a pattern of criminal behavior hinted at underlying issues contributing to his actions. Initially pleading not criminally responsible due to mental illness, Eaton recently withdrew the insanity defense, maintaining a plea of not guilty. The impounded forensic report on criminal responsibility obscures legal insights, leaving unanswered questions about Eaton's mental state and introducing complexities to the legal proceedings. Eaton's confession detailed killings in rural Bowdoin and shootings on I-295, resulting in the tragic deaths of Cynthia Eaton, David Eaton, Robert Eager and Patty Eager. The brutal nature of the killings adds a layer of horror to the incident, and the motivations behind targeting these individuals remain unknown. A video on Facebook the day before the incident revealed Eaton's emotional struggles, providing insights into his mindset. Open discussions of trauma and a plea for forgiveness added complexity to understanding his actions, raising questions about community and familial support. The shootings in Bowden sent shockwaves through the state, with Governor Janet Mills expressing condolences. State officials interpreted the crimes as an attack on the soul of our state, highlighting the profound emotional toll. The tragedy prompted reflections on community safety and support systems, leaving a sense of vulnerability permeating the affected communities. In Bowdoin, crime tape at the shooting scene underscored the localized impact. While in Yarmouth, traffic disruptions during the incident created a ripple effect in neighboring communities. Local businesses and residents experienced a brief lockdown, revealing the immediate community response. The emotional toll on community members became evident in various reactions, prompting communities to reevaluate and reinforce security measures. Eaton's case is part of a recent wave of mass shootings across the US, with incident locations in Nashville, Louisville and Alabama emphasizing a concerning trend. The incident also highlights the national conversation around gun control and broader implications for mental health. The incident also highlights the national conversation around gun control and broader implications for mental health awareness and support systems. A national perspective prompts reflections on the interconnectedness of societal issues. Breaking Through News will continue to follow this developing story and provide updates as more information becomes available. To stay up to date on the news that matters, Subscribe to Breaking Through on the Newsbreak app or on our website at breakingthrough.com.